And you know, it made me think, working and having a mental illness sucks. Because you are so exhausted all the time. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Emeril? I'm doing, I'm finally calming down. How are we, Raider? Say, I'm not. Emeril says, I want the dinosaur. Emeril, you have to learn to share your toys, buddy. Sassy says, I'm doing sleepy. So, happy Saturday morning. I'm getting ready to go to work. Fun times. Um, but before I go... I did have a question from someone about what kind of camera I use for vlogging and I never remember what it is but it is actually a Canon HD Vixia FHR 500. I like that it's just easy handheld and it has a screen that flips back and forth and if you guys want I'll post a picture of what this camera looks like because I know that's a question some people get about especially if you want to start vlogging yourself and you're trying to figure out oh what camera should I get. Literally, I got this one in a bundle, along with a memory card, a case, and a tripod for like $200 for Christmas. Excuse you! Excuse you! Here's my dogs fighting each other. So, yeah, I hope you heard that through all the barking. So, I'm going to get ready to go to work, and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, so yes, you are hanging out on my bed with me, yay, because I'm absolutely exhausted and just do not have the energy to actually sit up, which sounds horrible, yet I do still need to get my meds for the night and take my contacts out, and yes, you're going to have horrible lighting, because I, I don't know, I'm just really exhausted, but I haven't vlogged much today, and I apologize for that, main reason is I spent most of my day working on my fanfiction. Yes, that's what my story is. It's a fan fiction. I've gotten up to seven pages now, so yay. Um, it started with about two yesterday. And now it's up to seven, so yeah. Um, so how was the day? Work was good. Um, I also got really exhausted at work. And you know, it made me think... Working and having a mental illness sucks because you are so exhausted all the time. And, may, and it may not even be because you had like a panic attack or a depressive episode or whatever kind of attack or episode your particular illness has. It could have been because you have insomnia and you couldn't sleep all night. Or maybe just from how much energy your brain takes just to function and support a disorder at the same time just takes up so much energy and just leaves you exhausted all the time and I think now that I also have this dizziness thing added on to the lack of sleep and um, just everyday fatigue like chronic fatigue it feels like uh, I'm just always tired but of course, as you always do if you have a mental illness, all my mentally ill people out there, you understand this? Just put on a smile and pretend that everything is fine and that, and that you are awake. Because, you know, clearly, what, I mean, what do we do? Tell the truth about how we feel? No, no, we can't do that because then it'll show that we are weak. Because only weak people admit their feelings. Please understand how much sarcasm there is in that statement. Um, but yeah. I got home from work. Mainly worked on my um, fan fiction. I did the vlog. So, woo. Um, I also did some training with Emeril. 
and I thought about video videotaping it, but I completely forgot. So if I can remember tomorrow, I will try to tape what he had done. First, we did like some random stuff, like I would have him go through his commands of like sit, like sit, stay, down, stay, because I know those are especially down stays hard for him. So we worked on that. Did like here, come, stay, blah, 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 going up onto different surfaces. Um, did some confidence building with the surfaces, like telling him specifically to go here. And I mean, it was surfaces he knew. It was my bed, the couch, and the chest. But apparently he felt really weird about sitting on the chest. But I finally got him to do it. So, yay. Oh, no, my eye is so itchy. Ah. Ah. Fun times. And then um, we also worked on his new task of cleaning up his toys and he just started learning it yesterday or was it the day before I think it was the day before is when we first started teaching him and he's at the point now where I can get him to hold the toy by saying get it and like f playing him playing with him for a while like ah, da, da. and as soon as I lift the treat he drops the toy when I say clean your toys, he will drop it. So, I want to eventually get to where I could just point at the toy and be like, clean up your toys. And he'll do it. You know what I mean? For the second day of working on this task, he's doing very well. He's catching on to it very quickly. Of course, he will do anything for a treat. He also likes cuddles, but initially when I'm first working him, I have to do treats. Um... And I know some people have asked, how do I train MRL? Um, normally, what I would do, like, for example, when I taught him to sit, I would tell him sit, I would push his bottom down and tell him yes and give him the cookie. And then, you know, I would also have him lift his head up to watch my, to watch my hand while I push down on him at the same time. So he slowly got to where, okay, this hand gesture... And that word means I sit down. And then we slowly got to where he would sit down on his own. And then, of course, now he's at the point where, you know, he'll sit when he's told to do it. So there you go. So in a nutshell, I kind of, like, help him act through the behavior I'm wanting. And try to get him to associate whatever weird thing mom is doing with whatever hand gesture I'm using and what word I'm using. And he'll make those associations. Dogs are really freaking smart if you didn't believe that already. Like, the things they can associate with is fantastic. So, yeah, we did that. That was a lot of fun. And, of course, he got treats out of it. So, of course, it was going to be super fun for him. And, um... Oh, and I did yoga today. Yay! I've not been doing yoga for a while because of being dizzy or being extremely fatigued. And today I finally had the energy where I was like, let's do it. And it's like a 30-minute routine this time. So I was just like, come on. We need to get up. We need to do this. We haven't done it in a while. And I was like, okay. Once I did it, I was just like, yeah, I did it. I finally did yoga. Which, I know to some of you people out there who don't have mental illness, you're like, oh my gosh, why is she celebrating doing yoga? Like, yoga's so easy. Well, when you are really tired, like, all the time, when you are this fatigued constantly, you don't have the energy. I mean, right now, I don't have the energy to pick up my camera properly. I'm laying it on my bed and just laying like this. I don't do this very often in my vlogs. If you've been, if you've watched them long enough, you know that I don't do this often. But I'm just so fatigued; it is ridiculous. And I'm ready to go to bed, but I need to take my meds and get my contacts out. So, with that in mind, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is: What is something you accomplished today? It could be something big, it could be something small, it doesn't matter what it is. Let's celebrate our accomplishments. Let's put your accomplishment down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!